friends, Nina here, and today we will be creating a cover and fun summer pages in this cute summer binder. It has two rings from the inside and its adorable colors match the fun summer vibe that I'm going for. I love the outer strip where it says snap. It inspired me to create a similar strip using my summer paper collection from Eco Park. Don't forget all the materials that I'm going to use are linked down below in the description. For my strip, I use this floral pattern of the paper pack and I uh, put stripes on each side of a matching color just to make it pop against the stripes of the cover background and then I use this card I got it again from the paper collection and I backed it with this uh, green paper matching the green on the watermelon and then I'm going to stick on to stick it on top of my strip I did buy, uh, I did score the strip over here so it wraps around the cover, uh, the front cover. And here I back the um, card that says Sweet Summer Memories with foam tape, just to give it a nice dimension. And the paper collection also comes with these uh, raised uh, enamel and sort of jewels and gems uh, stickers that I'm going to use as well. Here I'm just adding a couple of banners and it comes also with sticker sheets that has all those fun sentiments and sentences about summer. They're very fun and inspiring. I added uh, on the top right corner a banner and a matching banner on the left bottom. And I'm just uh, fluffing it somehow. The fishtail, I want to roll it up a little bit just to give another fun dimension to the front of my album. And here are the gems, the stickers that I told you about. And I'm going just to put a couple of them on the bottom and on top. And this is my cover. It's complete. Now we're going to go for the inner pages. I used my planner essential dies to cut this um, watermelon paper. And this is my journal. This day was uh, Huntington Beach. And I'm going to go with the oldest memory first, and then I'm going to add on top because it's going to be an ongoing summer album for my summer mem summer memories. So this is, I uh, printed many of the photos that I loved for our, um, from our summer memories, me and the kids. And this is the oldest one. So I'm going to start with it and then the newer will come on top. Uh, so this was a fun picture for them on the beach. And I started uh, creating a cluster down there with the word sunshine and again stickers from the sticker sheet. And I'm going to add some couple of flowers, one on top and one below. I'm always backing my journals. It is uh, more fun and it makes the uh, journal easy to see and read. Here I found this fun banner talks about summer vibes as well so I'm adding it on top of my photo it has a matching color to the word on the left it's a card again from the kit that says sweet summer memories or something like that so they both had the same color that is sort of peach reddish thing it is the same color of the watermelons on the paper bag here I added my eyelets and I used my crocodile to uh, fix them in. I also used my uh, corner round punch to give the journal these um, corner, round corners. And I'm backing it up with this similar floral paper. And I'm just inserting it in the sleeve and, oh, best summer ever, the card says. It matches with the watermelon from the other side. So this is my first layout, the one in Huntington Beach. So on the right is the picture with the fun cluster and on the left is the journal with the best summer ever. I used my dyes, they're garden dyes here for the second one. I used this peach paper and on top of it, I added this blue and white stripe uh, pattern paper. And also I put a strip of a darker color on top and below just to give dimension and 
to make the striped blue and white paper pop. And here I'm sort of decorating the scene that is already uh, in the pattern paper. And I'm adding some pots here and there. And I'm going to add the word. Oh yeah, this layout is gonna be in Tanaka form. It's a fun form that we have here nearby in our neighborhood. And uh, I'm just choosing a best location for the, I printed this um, logo. I'm trying to find a good placement for it. I'm gonna leave it on the top right corner. And then I'm gonna start with the layout for the picture. So here is a picture of the kids of Endersh and the Tanaka farm shop. The kids were choosing corn and fun vegetables to buy. So I thought it's gonna be nice if I die cut some um, uh, farm wagon with all the pots and uh, crops inside. So here is my wagon and I'm just choosing where to start gluing my die cuts. So this is my wagon. I also added these uh, enforcing circles around my punched paper more fun look and here are a lot of bits and pieces that I had to put together for all the tools that you need for gardening and this is the final look I'm just adding a couple of stickers to give it more fun making a cluster here and I'm also going to add uh, a couple of um, stickers on each of the pots and also on the wagon and I'm gonna finish it with a couple enamel dots and gem stickers I'm just making sure that it's leveled and parallel to the wagon itself using my poking tool here there so a couple of enamel dots and this is the final look. So check, also I added these flower die cuts here around my ring and this is the other page. I'm so sorry for the lighting. It's a little dark. And for the next one, it's also in Tanaka farm. I am using uh, Honeybee's Build the Barn die set and I cut it also from my uh, paper collection so they all match together. Um, I use the green paper to cut with my hand, sort of a grass or a ground that will be in front of the barn. I also cut our photo from the top and I'll add the same roof that is on the barn as if our photo is also another barn or a side barn or something. You will see what I mean now. So for my barn, I'm attaching it directly on the background. And for other elements, I'm going to use uh, foam sheets, foam tape actually here for the roof. It will give a cute dimension. And I love this look. The barn itself is a solid color, color and the roof is this floral pattern. So pretty. The barn color is peach. It's from Lawn Fawn Papers. And here is the grass hill. I attached it also directly. And this is the barn, the other barn that is going to be us, our picture. And here I'm using foam tape. And I'm 
renovating it. And I cut the same roof, the same roof that's around the barn. I cut the same one and I just uh, trimmed it shorter. So it will be the roof for our barn. It needed a lot of leveling because now the roof of the barn has uh, foam tape. So I was trying to put the foam behind our roof to level it with the other one. And also I'm adding another strip here of the grass hill side. And these are die cuts from the honeybee uh, die cut set. Okay, this is a window. And then um, this is the internal part of it. It's a font color again from Lawn Foam Papers. You will find it linked down below. And I'm just making sure that's in the center before I stick it. And the die set also comes with the windmill die. I used the same papers that I'm using for this page. And again, the floral pattern, I cut the fans or the blades of the windmill from it. And they, all, they will all match with the uh, previous page since it's all in Tanaka form. The one with the pots. And here I'm just decorating with some fun pots and plants. And I'm creating a banner here. To decorate the page a little more. I also added this uh, fun sign on top. I say summer and on top of the roof of our uh, mini uh, barn I put a lot of florals flowers with their stems from different from different colors that also match the pattern paper and then when I put the uh, summer banner I found it lost with all the other uh, elements and on the page so I decided to make it pop a little bit or the French, the, define it more with this paper banner below it. And then I'm going to finish with some enamel dots. That are matching. They also came with the with the paper kit. Then this is the next page. It's um, a photo for the kids on their bikes. I think this was in Balboa Beach. And I'm sticking it to a paper of the same paper collection. And I did score it in the middle. So when it is folded, it, it fits inside my planner. And this is my journal for the page on the left. Of course, it's going to be lost in that uh, busy background. So I am going to back it with the red paper to define it against the busy background. I forgot to round the corners on this journal. I usually like to do that. So anyway, I'm using my paper trimmer to uh, trim the other sides from my scrap of paper. And then I'm going to glue it with the tape runner to the, the folded paper of the kids' uh, bike's uh, photo. All the colors matching together makes the journal really nice and consistent. So this is the other paper and I'm going to add a sign on the top left. And it took me so long to find something <laughs> that matches with the with their photo, but at the same time, it does not take away from the design. 
finally found this sign. It's ephemera that comes with the kit. And I added this fun banner below. And foam tape behind the sign. And I'm just going to add some tape behind the, the banner. And here is everything inside the album. And let's go for a quick flip through. This is the cover. And I'm going to add a lot on top later. It's an ongoing process. And here is our Tanaka farm layout. The first one with the barn and the fun wagon. Pots, a lot of fun elements. And this is the second page again in Tanaka farm with the kids harvesting and everything and the journal on the right. Using one paper collection is so much fun because all the papers will be matching together. And this is the other one uh, layout where the kids are uh, with their bikes on the beach. And I'm gonna just close this again. And here is the final and the last one that I made today. It's the kids at the beach, the sunshine, look at the dimensions and all the elements and the decoration. I had so much fun creating this album with you today, guys. I hope you did too. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.